To decide whether to do it yourself or hire a contractor is quite a tough one. However, one point is clear that DIY home repair can save you a bundle. You can use DIY tricks to save money on house maintenance, home decorating, car repairs, and many more. A key way of saving money on DIY is to have a well-stocked toolbox at hand. But you wouldn't want to go out and buy every tool at the hardware store just on the chance that you might need it. It makes more sense to spend your tool budget on a few, really good tools that you might consistently need. So, in this video, we will share with you guys the 10 most amazing DIY tools that will make your life easier. Before moving further, we would like to tell you that we bring the latest and innovative technologies in every episode of Advanced Tech AG. Please subscribe to our channel to support us, and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss the latest video notifications. Number 1. The Hammer A hammer is a necessity in every man's DIY toolbox. It is a tool used mostly to drive a nail or to pry them out. It consists of a weighted head fixed to a long handle of either wooden, metal, or rubber. The wooden handle is swung to deliver an impact to a small area of an object. Hammer varies in shape, size, and structure, depending on their purposes. Hammers are generally used in carpentry, framing, nail pulling, cabinet making, assembling furniture, and so much more. However, carpentry experts say the most versatile type of hammer is the 16-ounce hammer with a smooth head and a curved claw. This size hammer is used for both delicate jobs, like hanging pictures, and more heavy-duty jobs like repairing a deck. So you can use it for either purpose. A good hammer also makes it possible to buy inexpensive that's ready to assemble rather than springing for pricier pieces in their finished form. You also save money on home-based projects. Hammers even come in handy for jobs that are not even home-related, such as adding new heel tips to shoes. Yeah, that's how useful a hammer can be. Number 2, the putty knife. Some hand tool like a putty knife has always considered in a DIY toolbox. To work putty around the edges of each pane of glass, it is advisable to use a putty knife. A putty knife is a specialized tool for glazing single glazed windows. An experienced glazer will apply the putty by hand, and then smooth it with the putty knife. Disposable putty knives known for having a recyclable straight handle, and blade are suitable for hundreds of home and workplace chores, such as gently removing decals, water sealing, and small crack, or filling a chipped walk to avoid slips and falls. Plastic putty knives are sometimes substituted for metallic ones, because they are resistant to electric shock. However, disposal putty knives can be damaged from extreme heat and should be kept at arm's length from furnaces, stoves, water heaters, and other high heat sources. Thinning solvents and degreasers in certain oven cleaners may weaken putty knife and are not recommended for combined usage. Putty knives come in a width of 3 quarters to 6 inches wide. A putty knife also comes in different varieties which include flat-edged blade and chiseled edge blade, straight edge and angled edge blade, stiff blade or flexible blade and plastic, carbon steel, stainless steel or brass blade. So if you need to glaze your window, we'll advise getting a putty knife. Number 3, Screwdriver. Your DIY toolbox is incomplete without your screwdriver. Lots of furniture and fitting in your home are attached with screws, so anytime you need to fix any of these, you will need a screwdriver to remove the screws and drive them back in. It can be used manually or powered for screwing and unscrewing screws and nods. A typical screwdriver consists of a handle and a shaft, ending in a tip the user puts into the screw head before turning the handle. This form of the screwdriver has been replaced in many workplaces and homes with a more modern and versatile tool called a power drill. If you want to save a little space in your toolbox, you can buy a single multi-bit screwdriver instead. These tools have just one handle with an assortment of bits that you can swap in as needed. Number 4. Pliers. Oftentimes, 
When you're doing some kind of DIY job you would want to grasp onto something so you can pull or turn it. Is it right? You even go ahead grasping it with your fingers, but sometimes they are not strong enough to apply the pressure you need. At that point, a pair of pliers will solve your problem. It is a DIY tool that has strong durable teeth on one end to grip onto an object, and a long handle normally with a rubber covering on the other end to give you leverage as you pull, bend or twist it. This same plier can be used in loosening nuts, pulling out nails, pinching wires together to splice them. They are of various types designed for various kinds of jobs. One typical plier advised for use in a DIY job is the locking plier, sometimes called by the brand name Vice Grips. They have adjustable jaws that you can resize to your advantage. Needle nose pliers are another type of plier for DIY jobs. They consist of long narrow tips that can get into tight spaces. They are crucial for electrical work. These can also be used to repair jewelry, fish objects out of the drain, or hold a nail in a place while hammering so you don't risk your finger. Number 5. The Utility Knife. For your DIY jobs that involve cutting, opening boxes, or trimming wallpaper, a utility knife can come in handy in such situations as it is a sharp knife that is safe because the blade is embedded inside the handle where it can't cut you by accident and you can extend it as needed. It can also be used for shaving wood, sharpening a pencil, marking notches and so much more. A utility knife sometimes generically called a Stanley knife is a knife used for general utility purposes. It can be used for both outdoor and indoor purposes. One of the most popular workplace utility knives is the retractable or folding utility knife. These types of utility knives are designed as multi-purpose cutting tools for use in a variety of trades and crafts. Designed to be lightweight and easy to carry and use, utility knives are commonly used in factories, warehouses, construction projects, and in other situations where a tool is routinely needed to mark cut lines, trim plastic or wood materials, or to cut tape, cord, strapping, cardboard, or other packaging material. Number 6. Measuring Tape. If you are measuring the length of a bedroom or establishing the circumference of a kitchen table, you are going to need a tape measure. We're not talking about one of those flimsy $5 tools. The best tape measures cost a little more around $25, but they are worth every penny. A good measure will reach a length of more than 25 feet, and the tape should feel firm and steady, even when stretched to its farthest lengths. The tape measure should also have a bit of flexibility so it can measure around curves and corners, too. A good tape measure is a must for any home remodeling project. For instance, when you're redoing a kitchen, you need to check the size of all kinds of things, counters, cabinets, plumbing fixtures, and the distance between electrical outlets. If you can't handle this on your own, you'll have to leave all remodeling work to the pros. Number 7. Duct Tape. Every DIYer needs a duct tape. Duct tape is the standard go-to adhesive for every DIYer, and with good reason. This shiny silver material can be used to cover holes in everything from boots to screen doors, and if the tape is applied properly, this sticky adhesive can last for years. It's even required cargo on all space shuttle missions. No, it's not going to permanently patch a leaky radiator hose, but it'll probably work long enough for your DIYer to get his car to the shop. It is something no handyman can ever have enough of, so it should always be stocked in his toolbox. It's so portable to get yourself a duct tape today. Number 8. Handsaw. You might want to replace a broken door, chair, or table in your home someday. A handsaw will be the most portable DIY tool you will need. A handsaw is simply a toothed cutting blade attached to a handle. It's useful for making quick cuts in wood because it's much faster and simpler to use than a power saw. It's also ideal for building a treehouse since it's not easy to haul a power saw up a ladder. Saws come in three basic types. The traditional western saw has a two-foot blade that tapers from base to tip and cuts as you push forward through the board. 
A Japanese pull saw, by contrast, has a straight blade that cuts when you pull it back through the wood. Pruning saws also cut on the pull stroke, but they have a narrow blade that folds up for storage. Number 9. Flashlight. The flashlight is a small but essential tool every DIYer needs to have in his toolbox. Sometimes, you need to find your way around when the power is out. In cases like these, you need a flashlight to see what you're doing. The only thing a flashlight has to do is provide enough light to see. Even the cheapest models at your local drugstore will work in a pinch. However, if you pay a little extra for a flashlight with LED bulbs, your batteries will last a lot longer. For about $25, you can get a bright LED flashlight made of sturdy aluminum, complete with batteries. There are a couple of other features that can make a flashlight easier to use. Take, for instance, around $40 will buy you an electric headlamp, which mounts on your forehead and leaves both hands free to work. Black Diamond Storm Headlamp is the industry standard. Number 10. The Adjustable Wrench. The adjustable wrench is a DIY tool user to tight or loosen nuts and bolts. It's the best for this because it can easily adjust its size to grasp onto nuts of different sizes. This tool can save you money on a variety of jobs. For starters, you can use it to do simple plumbing repairs at home, rather than paying a plumber. You can also use it to repair a bicycle instead of taking it to the shop. Finally, a wrench is useful for all kinds of large-scale building jobs, from decks to playground equipment. The adjustable wrench is so helpful that it makes fixing stuff so easy. So, this is the end of today's episode. What do you think? Do you have any DIY tool you think should have been added to the list? Comment it down below. If you liked the video, please like it so that it will help the algorithm to expand its reach to many more technology lovers like you. Also, you can share this video with someone whom you think shall see this video. For now, we will sign off. We will come up with a new episode soon. And yeah. Subscribe to us and press that bell icon to get the notification of our next video. Take care.